Hi guys, Mr. Offawfuls here. Due to the fact that Treyarch are so loved by the community and Black Ops 3 sold so well as well, Activision greenlit them to make a Zombies comic, which is something we've all been waiting for for years. The first issue has already released and I've done breakdowns and explanations and reactions and everything. And now at last we have a preview from CBR.com of the second issue. Now this issue should actually have released already. But for some reason it was delayed twice actually, but we now have this preview to, I guess, fill the gap just a little bit and give us something to look forward to in the new year. So, as always, it's a story by Justin Jordan, art by Jonathan Wayshack, colours by Dan Jackson, covered by Simon Bisley, and published by Dark Horse Comics. Written, obviously, in collaboration with Craig Houston and Jason Blundell. The blurb is as follows. On the hunt for Element 115, the transit crew winds up at the headquarters of Rasman's old organisation, Broken Arrow. Trapped between a never-ending horde of zombies outside and lab-grown monstrosities inside, Stullinger, Misty, Martin, and Rustman learn that they'll have to work together if they want to make it out alive. Okay, here we go with page one. We've got them teleporting in from the previous comic. If you guys remember, they all went into that portal and just said, we've just got to do it. Stullinger's going, crap, crap, crap. At some point, I would like to ascertain the mechanism by which this means of egress functions. Don't you ever talk normal? <laughs> Where the hell are we? I assume that's the sort of thing your friend would communicate. I... Where the hell are we? <laughs> this... Russman knows this place. Oh, that's so Russman. I know this place. Not talking in damn third person anymore. That's good. Well, he still is, but he's also switching to first. He looks real scared. Oh man, and Stullinger's face in that frame. God damn it. They just look so weird in all of these illustrations. I love it. This is Broken Arrow. Holy moly. Okay, so they're in some kind of warehouse. Big electrical something or other from that portal. You've been to this location before? What's the established purpose of this laboratory? Russman doesn't know. And you don't know either, says Misty? So I guess she's talking to Richterfen, who is in Stullinger's head, and so she expects Stullinger to know because Stullinger would have been told by Richterfen, right? So you don't know either? Okay. No. No, he's, uh, I think he's out of range or something. Is that even possible? I don't know the mechanics of mysterious voices in my head, okay? Rustman's just like, this is a bad place. Yes, well, I suspect it's going to become much worse very quickly. Some instructions would be great. Don't tell me that thing's going to explode. I don't believe so. Thank goodness. You got some really cool looking machinery in there as well. Ooh, hold on. Malton, look at you, sir. But we would be well advised to shut it down before that occurs. You didn't think of that, did you? Zombies can come through portals as well, apparently. This isn't no regular teleporter. No, sir. No, madam. This is something else. Missy's like, move back. I think we know how not to die. Do you know how to shut up? Got the Olympia there. Got some dual pistols and what looks like some kind of... Is that a Barrett or an intervention or something in the background? Looking good. Holy moly, look at them brains. Love it. Love it. And then you have the cover. Russman blasting some zombies' heads off like a boss. And that's all we get! No! <laughs> there are 20 more pages of this bad boy that I want to be diving into and looking for ciphers in and secrets in and all sorts of stuff. But for now, this appears to be all that we are getting. God damn it. What a tease, holy moly. Let's just take another quick look back through. We've got the first slide, got the portal, some really interesting machinery in there. I mean, that sort of reminds me of the whole Casimir mechanism stuff that we saw from Ascension, kind of reminiscent of it, just a little bit. And I'm sure that this is stuff that we might be able to dive into with more depth once we see more of the panels from this particular issue and future issues. But really interesting machinery in there. It does sort of look like some kind of rocket assembly stuff, like bits and bobs and those sorts of parts. Russman doesn't really know what the deal was, but we're going to find out, no doubt. He's going to remember stuff as we go along. You've got Marlton tapping away on the computer, as always, and what looks like a little radio on the right there as well, which it would be nice to hear a recording of, but alas, whereas a game can do that, a comic cannot, and so we're kind of uh, snuffed out there. The, the little ounce of hope that we might have is... Completely ruined, but then we see the characters fighting the zombies off, and then we see some zombies, and then we see the front cover, which we've already seen. So that is the preview 
of the comic. Super exciting stuff. Thank you to CBR.com, whoever they might be, I don't really know, for getting this preview for us. Looking forward to the full thing. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Before you go, let me know right now in the comments down below what you want to see happen in this second issue of the comic. Because the first issue kind of left people wanting more. They were like, well, doesn't really say much here. It's just sort of introduction and setting things up. And yes, there were some ciphers, but meh. So what would you do differently in issue number two in order to make it really satisfying and interesting? That's the question for you all. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.